pigeonationing for the pigeon by the pigeon. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Hateful Boyfriend, a game where apparently you can date pigeons. Because I mean, who doesn't want to date pigeons, am I right? Those attractive feathered creatures. Yeah. Uh, anyhow! <laughs> I have... It's shameful of me to admit, but I have been wanting to play this game for ages. It looks so ridiculous. I saw a trailer for it, and yeah. <laughs> I'm really late into the game. I mean, this came out like years ago, but let's try it out. Oh, geez. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. It ain't Hiyoko. Okay. Um. What should my name be? Kind of want to use a ridiculous name. Shmi. Sha. Who. Be. I'm pretty sure I spelled Shibuki wrong, but oh well. Close enough, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is okay. It's a beautiful name. The most wonderful and graceful names. It's a name full of daintiness and poise. <laughs> Hateful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Sure. Configuration saved. Guys, I'm so excited! I can go to school with pigeons! St. Pigeonation, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonation. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I am often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Oh, he's so handsome. Look at that. Uh, shiny feather mane thing. I'm so eloquent. <laughs> Usually you would have been here an hour by now, Shmi. Overslept. Ryota! <laughs> Such red eyes. This rock dove is named Kawada Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast is a little hard to catch today. I can't relax. I can't relax without red meat inside. <laughs> Living as a hunter gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell hole ready? Come on, we have to hurry to class. Jeepers. Jeepers? Really? Jeepers? No good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. 
Oh, this is going to be beautiful, everyone. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon. For the pigeon! It's beautiful. First term. I think we're in two, three. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around all at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy mm, happy memories. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, every birdie. <laughs> every birdie. <laughs> That's funny. Or I'm Nanaki Kazuaka. I can't. Wow, I said that so horribly. I'm so sorry. Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. <sniffs> Sir, wake up! It's the homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh, he's so pretty. He reminds me of Banana. Banana Bird! I will no longer remember his name. He will only be referred to as Banana Bird. This quail is Banana Bird. He's a famously soporific math teacher. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, gray minds come in all forms. That's impressive. Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. Is it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. What's the point? Oh, ooh, fancy music. Hello. Oh, commoners! Really now? Okay. This guy is all high and mighty. What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Fun fact, I was ac I've was i actually been called a commoner before by some guy in the airport. <sighs> Good times. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all be turned to kulaks and dissenters. People, calm down. He just doesn't want to say his name. Wow. Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, can you at least say your name, Shirogane? Ugh. <sighs> Shirogane la belle Sakuya. Ooh, so fancy. Wow. Talk about uh, looking aristocratic, huh? <laughs> it seems his fantail, seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. <laughs> He's pretty stuck up. But then, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I'm sorry. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Yeah, definitely. Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out of the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. I'm saying so naturally now. <laughs> any birdie? Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. He's so dark and mysterious. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. 
I don't want anything with you. Oh, mm, okay. Jeez. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. Oh, books. You're a book lover. Obviously, you're in the library. Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> he glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They're a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Shibupi Shmi, a sophomore. How about you? You're... Nageki. Fujishiro. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Oh, he's so adorable and emo looking. I just want to hug him. Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Because he's a morning dove! <laughs> Was that even a pun? I don't even know. <laughs> Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that? You should have been instructed not to approach him against school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own oh, brother? Cool. It's your own brother, after all these years. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half reads. I'll be going now. Jeez. Hey, wait just a. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies' man Takazaki Yuya is a Kuga's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. <laughs> you heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you! <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and okay, I- Wow. And swam in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Okay. He looks like his brother, just with glasses and hairpins. Kind of looks like a dork, but a cute dork. He seems nice, though. I never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. He has really pretty eyes. You're Shmi, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at the name. How did you? I know everybody, every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. I do like poppies. <laughs> did you say you're a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never thought that stuck up aristocrat with wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu! I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me? No birdies here? 
<laughs> no, Bertie, hello. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. In other words, my instincts. I feel nothing with them. Okay, anyways. There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think about it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylpar, Trife, Lucio-Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out. <laughs> the doctor? He's so fat! Oh my god, I love it! Ah! He's, he's so round! Ah! He's adorable! <laughs> I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? His cuteness level went down just a little bit, but he's still adorable looking. No, thank you. Oh, wow, he's actually kind of handsome, but those eyes, so dark. He looks like he's going to murder me in my sleep. <laughs> this partridge, oh, that's a partridge? They're so fat. It's adorable. Is you mean that? You you mean that? Shoo? I'm sorry, I can't say that well. The school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Oh. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus cytokosis or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? <laughs> You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. We even have the Nutcracker suit playing in the background. I love it. Why didn't he come find- Why didn't he come find me before he- Ugh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. <sighs> Finally out of, the de out of that den of evil, I can't talk. <laughs> I need to drink some water. Hold on. Back! Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I run in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside? <laughs> coo! Coo! This is no pudding for a man! Coo! Oh, go, Sanry! Rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Oh, this is beautiful. Guys, I know who I'm dating. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Oh my god, that is beautiful! He doesn't even have a human face! <laughs> Okay, he is the most magnificent character in this game, and I will be seeing his story. <laughs> this is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but he's supposedly, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. <laughs> Koo! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Coo! Oko said instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Coo! But this is no pudding! Coo! Oh, already said that. I'm bad. <laughs> Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! 
It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo! Spare the jest, young lady! Okosan used wing attack! It's super effective! Oh my gosh, he's a Pokemon! Coo! They'll rule the day they cross Okosan! He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn! He will! I am loving this too much. Coo! Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding! Farewell! And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? <laughs> and so ended the first day of my second semester as Saint Pigeon Nations. And so ends our first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to try doing a few episodes. <laughs> it's really um, a unique game. But yeah, it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Especially with Okosa. Hmm, pudding. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye!